What is going on guys, it is Nino Laha back with another video and today we are going over every single person the New Orleans Saints have met with uh, for the upcoming draft. Uh, most of these have been virtual as the COVID-19 pandemic is going on, but nonetheless we've made a lot of meetings as you can see right here and yeah. Um, but I'm not going to go too in depth with each prospect. I'm really just going to talk about the like first round prospects, and I'm not going to go like super in depth. But if you do want me to go super in depth and make like a whole prospect series of who we've met, met you got to let me know down the in the comments. Blow this video up because that shit's going to take a ton of research. But if you guys want it, I will do it for you guys. Um, second, this list was put together by one of my friends. Uh, his Twitter will be in the uh, description does a lot of good articles NFL wise go give him a follow Saints fan helped me out a ton with this list I wouldn't have been able to put it together so shout out him go give him a follow um and third I know the setup looks kind of weird but I wanted you guys to be able to see the list I know my logo is just like sitting right there it looks kind of funky but it is what it is and also I can wear a Lakers shirt even though I'm a Pelicans fan I love LeBron okay and uh, some of these names are hard to pronounce, so if I get someone wrong, don't kill me, all right? I'm trying. But, um, yeah, let's start it off. We met, our first up is Aleem McNeil, defensive tackle. Next up is Quinn Menirez. All right. This one, I'm literally, I don't want to butcher anyone's name. And I already know I'm going to butcher it. I know how to say his last name, but I'm just going to play you his name because I genuinely just don't want to offend anyone or... But Adetokumbo Ogundeji. Adetokumbo Ogundeji. All right. Adetokumbo Ogundeji. All right. Maybe that looked dumb, but I didn't want to butcher anyone's name. This guy, I think I've mastered. It. It's Levi Onzerki. Um, he's a defensive end. He was one of the first people we met with, actually. I believe it was either him or Ogundeji. One of them was the first. I think they were both the first two people we met with, or like one of the first few. Uh, Thomas Graham. Rondale Moore, we've had multiple meetings with the wide receiver out of Purdue. Running back, JV and Hawkins. Uh, Trill Williams, defensive back. Tommy Tremble, a tight end. Greg Newsom. Joshua Bledsoe, pretty talented safety. KJ Britt. Mac Jones. Jamie Newman. Zaven Collins. And Braven Jordan. Zaven Collins was literally just met with, I think, yesterday. Or was at least reported to the media yesterday. That's a lot of names, but I'm going to go over a couple. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to go over a ton. I'm going to go over who I know, and if you guys want me to go over, like, some of the lower round players, I will, but you got to let me know you want it, because it's going to take a ton of research. I'm a college student, man. I got a shit ton of work to do, but let's start it off with Brave and Jordan. Not a first round pick, I will admit, but I love Brave and Jordan. Brave and Jordan is one of the better tight ends in this class, and probably top three tight end in this class i mean kyle pitts is there so it's saying something he will probably be a second to third round pick probably second if i had to guess braven is a really good tight end but what's interesting about this is why are we i believe in trotman i guess we're just meeting with him to meet with him but i think this team has other needs than a tight end this early i don't mind drafting a tight end but this early, no, we need a linebacker, we need a corner, we need safety if Williams walks, man. Can't be doing it this early. But Braven Jordan is a hell of a talented player. Played for uh, Miami, I believe. Yeah, Miami, Pitts was Florida. I always get them, not mixed up, I get their colleges mixed up. But watch some of his film. He didn't have the most flashy stats, but if you watch him on film, he is a talented tight end. Next up is Zaven Collins. I'm pretty sure a lot of you... I've heard of him because a lot of Saints mock drafts have been predicting us to get him. I have no problem with Zayvon Collins. He's exactly what we need. He's a great coverage linebacker. Um, some drafts have him going above our pick. Some drafts have him going lower. He's an absolute stud, um, and he's exactly what I want in a linebacker. I really want a good coverage linebacker for this team, and I think he could fill that perfect. But you guys know why I want a corner first. I want to have a corner two and if potentially if laddie leaves have that guy transition to corner one but i wouldn't be mad if we took zaven collins because he's a hell of a player and if we took like someone like paulson adebo in the second round or um eric stokes i'd be okay with that but zaven collins is a hell of a beast i encourage you to watch his film there's a lot i can say but i don't want to make this video too long 
and film is just so much better. Zayvon Collins is a beast, though. I think if he does go to a team like the Packers, he's going to start right away. Packers, Saints, you know, one of those low-round teams, he's going to start right away and make a big impact. I feel like he's not a player like Patrick Queen, but he'll fill in that role of that late-round linebacker that starts right away and has a good, solid breakout season. Next up is Jamie Newman. This is like a fourth or fifth round QB in my opinion. He's not bad, but he's not anything special. Um, he had a pretty good pro, uh, senior pro day, I think. But if we're drafting him to be our future, I'm a little concerned. But hey, anything's better than Taysom. Jamie Newman's not a bad player. You could see he has some pros. He has some cons. You could see it. I could go over it, but like I said, I don't want to make this video go too long, but it's just like you're not you're like a little underwhelmed when you're watching him play. That I don't know. He just I don't think he'd ever be above average, and you know me, I don't know why we would shoot for anything average at best, you know? That's why I don't want Taysom. Next up is a player I'm very, very high on and loves the New Orleans Saints. I made a video on this, so if you want to hear that, go check that out. It's called, like, This Player is the Future of the Saints. I clickbait title. I got to do what I got to do. All right, I'm a small YouTuber. Anyway, Mac Jones uh, had a meeting with the Saints at the... I believe it was the Senior Pro Day. If I'm saying that wrong, I, it might be Senior Day, Senior Pro Day. I don't know what the hell it's called, but... Uh, basically, was like, oh, shit, I really hope I impressed him. Like, he was, like, deadlocked interested. And I was like, all right, Mac, all right. Dude, yeah, I love Mac Jones as a prospect. I think he's a hell of a player. You can see all of his Alabama receivers are literally like, yeah, t he's better than Tua. Which I think is kind of dick, but nonetheless. They're saying that he is better than last year's fifth or fourth. Fourth? Was he fourth overall? I think he was fourth overall pick. I think Herbert was fifth. But they're saying he's better than the fourth overall pick last year. And Mac Jones had a hell of a season. We all know about it. But the question is, was it, is he an Alabama product? Or is this actual talent? And I think that wherever Mac Jones will go and gets a shot, he will break that Alabama curse, Alabama like product. Uh, oh, he's only good because he went to Alabama next time. Blah, blah, blah. I think Mac Jones is a hell of a player. I thought so coming out of last year. I was like, why is this guy so slept on? And he balled the fuck out. I mean, I think he does have some help to, uh, you know, having Devonta Smith and Jalen Waddle. Except Jalen Waddle don't play this year, right? I don't. I, I'm not a huge college football guy. All right, calm down. But Mac Jones. I, I really like Mac Jones, man. I think he's going to be something special in the NFL. This is going to be my... Mac Jones is going to be my, like, Jalen Hurts of uh, last year, except I don't think we are going to be drafting Mac Jones. But if he is our quarterback of the future, I have no problem with that. But I do believe that Mac Jones is a guy that needs to sit a year because he still has a lot to learn. Next up uh, is, like, the first rounder. It might actually be the last. I might talk about one or two other things, but is Rondale Moore, and it's noted there that we had multiple meetings with him. Rondale Moore is a fantastic speedster receiver out of Purdue, I believe. Yeah, it's out, it out of Purdue, I believe. Rondale Moore could be that deep threat that we wanted Traquan Smith to be and could really stretch the field for us to leave Michael Thomas open, you know, because Michael Thomas runs rather, rather shorter routes. And with whoever our new quarterback is, they will have an actual arm. No offense, Drew, I love you, but your arm was shot. And we might be able to get that deep ball going and, you know, just toss it to Rondell. He runs, he runs. He. There are people saying he will be the best receiver in this draft. I watched this um, TikToker does an excellent job called Theo Ash. I don't know if you know him. But he believes that Rondell Moore will be um, the best receiver in the draft. It, may not, it, was, it was Rondell. And he loves his game. And I love his game, too. I think, you know, he went to Purdue. And Purdue's football team is kind of some shit, I'm pretty sure. And he made everyone around him look like... He made his quarterback look better. He made his other receivers look better. Rondell Moore is a guy I'm very high on. And the thing is, he could potentially fall to the second round. I see him going all over the place. I see him going first round, second round. But if he is available in the second round, I would love to trade up for a guy like Rondell Moore. Absolutely star-studded receiver. And honestly, I do believe he does have what it takes to potentially be the best receiver in the class. I know it sounds crazy because we have Devonta Smith, Jalen Waddle, but think about this year, right? Who was the best receiver? Justin Jefferson, right? It wasn't close to Jerry Judy. You, if you would have told anyone that, it would have been Justin Jefferson over Jerry Judy at that draft. It would have been crazy. 
I think Rondell Moore has that potential to be the best receiver coming out of this class. I really like Rondell Moore. I love his game. But that's all I got for today. If you guys want me to do the rest, like uh, Greg Newsome, Tom, uh, Tommy Tremble, Levi, Owen Zerke, you know, all the rest of them, let me know. Um, if this seemed rushed, I do have something to do uh, today. But I wanted to get something out for you guys. I haven't posted in a while. But thank you for all the support. Leave a like, join the Discord, sub, whatever the fuck were you supposed to do, and peace.